Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Kazam187 and we are here for part 2 of the Vampire Counts Let's Play for Total War Warhammer. Uh, thank you for all the support that we had in the previous part for part 1. Thank you very much. I like very, 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 very much like it a lot for all the support you've done so far. Obviously keep commenting, liking and all that type of jazz. If we get this video to 50 likes that'd be perfect for me. Uh, it always helps me out obviously in the search ratings for new subscribers and stuff like that. And obviously if you are new, just leave a comment down below, tell me what you think of the content, uh, obviously of the game, it's the main thing, and obviously what campaigns you're doing at the moment, uh, who you're playing as, what units you like, all that type of jazz. And obviously any tips in a very nice constructive way of how I can improve my campaign, just leave it down in the comment section below as well. Okay, so we didn't do too much in the beginning part, obviously it was going through the faction, uh, Eirik Kemler, the legendary lord, we managed to take out a force here near Castle Temple off and obviously now we've got the mission to take oh, uh, those events, missions we've got to take or capture Eshen I tried to move up towards them but obviously they just moved the massive army stack towards there no. so unfortunately we've got a 17 stack here that is going to absolutely wreck phase so we're going to wait for them to move off and then we can attack Eshen we need to Let probably build some more do. troops as well but I won't do that until we can Probably buy some units. Okay, so let's get some Vargeists. It's going to be a huge dent to my money though if I did get them. Maybe one it unit. Uh, an extra spear unit. And then another skeleton unit, I'd say. And then we leave one free. Maybe you know, if we've got a flying unit, we've already got the Vargeists, haven't we? Okay, leave it that because obviously my income's going to go way down, so we're going to need to take Eshen as soon as possible. Let's build them up. Hopefully they move these guys out and then we can take that settlement. We've got the orcs to south us to take out the the dwarfs as well. Oh, I just realised that, look. It's a cool little lake we've got there. Uh, we still got these guys over here who we've got a non-aggression pack with. If we take that though, that's one part of the settlement or settlements of this province, which is obviously this one, and then, then we take this. But fortunately with the garrison, it's going to take a while. Uh, one thing I noticed from another Let's Play, if I click on this, we can get the building browser. So this is actually quite a more elaborate way of trying to figure out what we can do. So this one's obviously going to do growth. This one's going to income, uh, generate some more income, so 500 for that. Vampiric corruption, growth, income as well. So that's a pretty good one actually. I would call that an income from the gibbet. Obviously with these ones, we can unlock the ones, that, well these are the ones I've already built anyways. But what you typically find is minus your actual province capital, you should really try and get your province capital up to five, only get your other settlements up to level three because most of the buildings you can get, the decent ones obviously, like this for example, the armory, ancient armory, etc, etc, um, it's only tier three. So you can obviously have that building in a second settlement, not the province capital for example. So if, if we could put this in Eshin, or Waldenhof and obviously try and get this one to level 5 and obviously we have more slots to put in stuff like this or the, the top tier uh, stuff but you know we should try and do that so with this it shows you how many you can get Cam uh, Khan Wraiths, Grave Guard which obviously going to be very very good great weapons, Grave Guard or standard Black Knights and then we've got Black Lance with, with Lances and Bardians so I assume that's like an army version of that armoury version of that so you get it and then you upgrade it and you can get the extra stuff for them uh, units. So you can get Necromancer from this as well. Oh god, that's a lot of stuff in that one. Local recruitment. Uh, what can we get from this? Black Coach. What the fuck is that? Magic Chariot. Ooh, okay. That sounds interesting. Black Coach. Okay, we, we should try and get that later on in the campaign. Hex Wraiths, Cavalry, Calm Wraiths, and then the White King. So that's Hero as well for this one. Embedded Hero. White Kings are incredibly powerful undead, almost as hard to destroy as vampires. If used with dark magic, their weapons shimmer with baleful energy. So we should try and get that. I think we've already... Yeah, we don't have that. So we've got this one here, and we can eventually get the Vargulf, which is the big fucker. And what was the other one? Yeah, there we go, innit? And 
Spirit Geist, which is a fly monster. Okay, so we can upgrade to this and get some bigger units, that's 100%. We can also get Black Knights, Shock Cavalry, Cavalry, and then Great Sword Infantry. We need the Grave Guards because they're going to be one of our better units. Okay, so that's that. Uh, they haven't currently moved off, so. What? Let's move towards here. Oh, no, we're building, that's well. Okay, let's in turn. And to also actually move towards here, so this is the guys who got uh, outed out of that little area. Maybe they might be going towards the other dwarf settlement. Templehof have actually moved both of their forces over to there. The grave harridans come, so as our power grows, it gains the attention of our foreboding creatures. The Wailian has hags emerge from this swamp and thwarted haunts to join join us in the destruction of the living. A tomb banshee has come. Hero recruited a castle Drakenhof banshee. So we might as well actually stick that in our army. Grave so we've currently we've got one free slot. So embed hero. Sight Banshee, single Banshee is a terrifying prospect and even those warriors skilled enough to match blades with a vampire have little defense against unnatural screams. Upkeep 250 which is a lot. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Uh, so corruption, damage walls, infiltrate, assassinate, block army, scout. So this is basically a spire. So. Okay, we should probably, if we do attack them, they've only got this one, Terrace Iron, Trade Forecast, I assume there's only them now then, so they got kicked out, so we could probably attack them, but would that affect us with the other dwarves which are over here, oh Zubar is actually here, so no we're not going to attack her, I've only got one more settlement left, so, uh, what have they got though? Dwarf Warriors, Miners, Thunderers, and Quarrelers. I don't know, maybe we could take that, because we can actually take it now with the mod on. Uh, this move them towards here then, then we can scout it maybe, with uh, this lady, once she's ready. We'll do that with the next turn. Obviously they're going to move his force back now though, which is a little bit annoying. But we are going to do that either way, even if we did attack. Bloody Spears, they're going to push up. We can maybe let them attack them first, weaken them, if they don't defeat them, and then do that. I'll scout it anyways and see what exactly what they've got, if we're able to attack it. And they've actually freed that up now, so if I want to take it. Now. It's only damage walls so far. I thought, I thought you could scout it. Maybe I need to unlock that then. So let's have a look at our upgrades. Weapon strength, melee attacks. But yeah, so we need to unlock that then. So unfortunately we can't do these things with her yet. So let's stick her in there. So now she's actually within the army. So let's move up to about here. Let's see what happens. No. Why is he not going inside? They will all pay. Ready. The bed hero. I don't understand what's going on here. Uh, also, if you want to rename this agent, then please leave it in the comment section below. Uh, with the vampires, we'll try and do something with you, which is vampire vampiric. So anything from films, vampire films, 
TV programs, anything with names which are cool, even Vlad the Impaler or the old school or Count Dracula or something basic like that. Obviously leave it in the comment section below and we'll obviously put it into the campaign. Well, it's not that, it's not going to work, so let's move up and then attack. Okay, the bloody spears are moving up here as well, so they're definitely going to attack Sufba. I'm going to move that one over it again. They're not stupid, they are always pretty clever. Mine well. Let no man say otherwise, for it is mine lands you trade upon. It's saying I'm Manfred von Karstein when I'm not. I'm a uh, Heinrich Kemmler. That's a bit weird. But anyways, he wants a trade agreement, so we're going to agree to that. That is really weird. War declared, Avalanche and Skull Takers. Taking on then. A lot of them are zombies and we've got some crit goals. Find me grave mouths. Okay, what should we do here? We get rid of three of these zombies. Anyways. Let's see how much this costs with upkeep. Okay, they're besieging Sith Bar at the moment then. They've got quite a few army stacks. Okay, so now they're attacking me. Well, they're coming towards me anyways. So obviously we're going to retreat. And we're going to leave one of these out in the open. My king, I am pleased thou attendest me. They want us to break the non aggression pact with these guys. Let's cancel that. Okay, a vampire within your dominions needs to be feasting on the peasantry. They die in honour in their hamlets, leaving their pathetic farms unattended. If mortals become a fatalistic, then we will risk an uprising. The terror must be balanced. So, diplomatic operations with temple health is minus five. Public order. Well, we don't really care about relations with them anyway, so. Really, are we? Okay, we've got 24 army stack here. And the chance is 35 negative. Hero wounded, hero fader. Let's try this out anyways. Fader, okay. We'll have to try though. Yes. And we didn't get any units because obviously we retreated. So I want to be able to attack these. With the first. But we've actually got two let hero units there, so let's recruit do. these. Let's quickly save it. And let's attack. And we're probably not going to get a better opportunity in this. And we've got our units coming from. But they're fled now. Death calls. Turn them to death. Move. 
Okay, they're going to be supported from that army stack, so let's move back. Onwards. Let us wander this way. Okay, research. Okay, we want to do this one for scaling some warriors because obviously we want to increase them. Oh, we're going to have to go down this route anyways. Let's start building into this though so we can get some cheaper warriors and stuff. Okay, they're besieging Castle Drakenhofer. Mission issued. Another of our Bardine has requested that we weaken a mortal's position by seizing the enemy region. So, should we do this? So, I said, but will swear. Fealty, or so they say. Capture and occupy several belonging to any of the fallen enemies. Shots and fire for stair lands. Way over here. Okay. Okay, so yes, we want to block this army so they can't move. So we want to obviously be able to attack these guys. Commit, minions, commit. March. There you go. So if we we can't do anything there, so we're going to attack. Kill them, my children. And we're going to fight this battle. So we're facing a lot of zombies. There's one unit of direwolves, one unit of crypt wolves, which is going to be crypt ghouls, which is going to be the hardest unit. Two scaling warriors, and obviously the legendary lord there. But we've got some better units and we've got some fire guys which we can see in action as well. So let's fight the battle. That's good. If we can manage to completely wipe this one out, we should be able to attack Eshin afterwards. Fair enough they've got another army stack. But at least we can we can maneuver. So in future we're gonna use the Banshee to level up. We can scout, which will be the next one, then assassinate. But we're gonna try and get her to block the army so he obviously can't just run off. I think that was good action. We're trying to get rid of these zombies now and build, actually build up the units I wanted to get. Because I don't want the zombie ones, they're pretty naff. The Battle of Eschen versus Zelig of Van Kruger. Heinrich Gemmler. See, he sounds very, very German. You can also give German names as well. Obviously not stuff like fucking Adolf Hitler or something like that, but something which is German, famous as well. Even stuff from history and stuff like that. You can also go for names of that if you want me to do, if I, when I start building other armies and other units, stuff like that, we can rename them if you wish to. If you've got any suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. I do like what they've done with the legendary lords though, because um, they're quite versatile with the other ones. Like even this dude here, Zelig Van Kruger, he looks pretty cool. He looks like the Emperor from um, Star Wars. <laughs> Emperor Palpatine. A little bit. So try and kill him off. Firewalls. Very fast. Oh, I've already read that one before, I think. Vanguard deployment. Now, so let's check out what these fire guys are like. And I've seen them in action in someone else's LP, uh, Let's Play, so. I know what they're like, but let's see what they're actually like in action. If they die a bit easily and stuff like that. Let's see how well they do. How many kills they get, we'll try and record that and see if they're worthwhile. I think they're gonna be more suited for siege battles, because you don't you don't actually have any missile units for the vampire counts, which is obviously a bit weird, but it kinda makes sense because obviously it's not within the tabletop. So Vargas, a damage dealer, a flying creature, a vampire reduced and twisted to savagery. 
Bargai swoop him from above and rip battle lines to pieces. Okay, we're going to gamble because we've only got five magic. And we've increased it to 21. That's very good. So let's start the deployment phase. They've got a lot there. We haven't really got any high ground either, so let's fill them up. Put these together. Uh, might as well put these in there as well. So apologies for that. Let's get them flying in over there. So we've got these to regenerate if we wish to. Excellent. Fear the two. Let's start moving them around. on the hill. You can wait there. Let him rest for a little bit. And we can formulate the plan then. Okay, start moving these guys up. At least you don't have to worry about any missile units at least, so I think they're going to wait for us to, to make the plunge, but they've got their wolves here, so where's the uh, crew of wizard is in there, strong building, flank secure, yes, I think we're probably going to have to start piling in ourselves. Stronger unit in the flank. Okay, start getting these charging him. Uh, we get these to help out with the, this line. They, they need to come in over here. Okay, let's help out with these guys. Flank rounds. Kill these diables. They can start charging in here, these two. Okay, let's get these guys out. Zombies. They might have to run this way. Out. 
let's charge into these again. We need to get these guys disengaged. He's not doing anything. Let's get him in. Are they losing units? Okay, you can help out over here. You can come here. Get this flank through. Move these over. They can start actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. Let's get these disengaged as well. Let's charge into them. We'll get these to attack the wizard. now then so we took out their lord then and obviously he managed to kill him off so you're victorious Let's see what we got from this so 42 kills of him 82 with the sky land units uh, skeletons done very good 100 kills pretty much the majority of them zombies done uh, not too bad either even though these guys got bogged down they got 122 kills and bar guys 178 that is crazy so they're very good uh, and they were they weren't even really in a um, flying roll they just flew around for like one bit and then flew back down again so they're completely destroyed so 2191 we lost 508 so we're gonna be able to replenish them uh, hopefully we've actually completely wiped this these guys out i assume we have though uh, their crit has got 90 kills and obviously swordsman that's I got bogged down with some of them as well Their zombies didn't do anything and we took out the dire wolves as well quite early so it's quite lucky but overall bar guys are quite happy with they done very very good so I'm happy with that but overall very very good and if we manage to kill Zelig von Kruger, then that's a double blessing. And then obviously we can try and take out the other unit. Mainly take Eshin. Once we get that, we can start getting some income in. I don't think we lost any units. If we did, we lost the spearmen, but they they will replenish anyways. They'll raise from the dead, so. So it should be good. So we'll try and get a full army stack here. With Heinrich Kemler, and then we may potentially build another lord. Or another army. But we shall see, see how we get on with it. And Spear's done pretty good as well, saying that. 60, 80, 42. That one obviously got uh, annihilated, but... I could have done a lot better in that battle, to be perfectly honest, but... You know, still learning it. It's been a while since i played Total War. I haven't played Attila for like three, four months, so... Probably about three months. It's been a while. Not like as much as I used to, anyways. So bear that in mind. But overall, I'm really liking the feel of the game so far. I should be doing some quest battles, so look out for those. 
I'm going to try and do it for every single faction. The original idea was before I knew you could actually do them, it's just like, it's basically they're like historical battles for Total War Tiller. But before I knew you could actually just do them in a little tab for that, I was going to be doing all the campaigns, like off camera, minus this one. So I could do the quest battles. So for me, it's just, it saved a hell of a lot more time. It makes sense for them though, if they've spent loads of time doing the quest battles and set pieces, then obviously they might as well do it like that. But I think what I'll try and do before I record the videos for it, I'll try and get as much lore knowledge as possible about the battle. So I'll read up on it, write some notes down and stuff so I can give a bit more of an explanation at the beginning of it. And obviously there'll be like a speech and all that type of jazz from the... Um, commanders who are fighting to Carl Franz or whoever it is and then obviously I can get a little bit of detail behind it because A I'll be learning the law for Warhammer myself and secondly um, I can at least pretend to know what I'm talking about <laughs> no, but it gives knowledge for people who are not Warhammer fans already and obviously the Warhammer fans will be like you've got this correct or you've got this wrong so loot gained we've got 620 which is obviously going to be very helpful and they are completely wiped out got a ranked gain from that as well and obviously we're gonna unit punishment because he lost quite a bit March. so you go fucked I need more minions yes yeah, so we need to do that but we can actually raise these two Let's get rid of the zombies. Uh, we can get another fire guys. Very well. Another skeleton warrior. And that will be it. Let's try to assassinate. Um, so we can obviously spy now, and then where's Eric? Okay, the next one we should try and do leadership when attacking. Well, we're gonna have to do this one first anyway. So, all right, any unit standing within the characters or in battle will receive a leadership bonus. So, if we unlock this chain first, and then we can get a second one. Or no, scrap that. We're gonna get raised the dead, so we can use that as a spell because we've only got. A rubbish run at the moment so we can spawn an extra unit for nine magic if, if that's correct we should soon find out though when we go into battle so cooldown minus 15 percent to raise dead spell next level oh so we can actually upgrade it to level two for that oh okay that's cool so you can actually upgrade to, no, that's two as well uh three for that one three for that three for that oh so you can actually upgrade these as well okay that's new something i didn't know Okay, so let them replenish. We've got two units building, and then see what happens. Okay, they're moving that one back. Let's see what they do, army stack wise. We've got one more unit we can get. Um, 250 with that, war declared. Marienburg and the Empire. Talabekland and Stirland, and then we've got Buddy Spears versus. Oh, the Border Princes, okay. So they're trying to take them on now. Again, obviously, bear in mind they're going to be attacking whoever, and they're still sieging that settlement there. They're trying to assassinate. Failure. Got another upgrade? Okay, assassinate. Technology, bones. So recruitment costs for skeleton warriors and skeleton spearmen have gone down. Uh, let's double check if we actually want to go this route. It's going to take six for this next one. Armor for skeleton warriors. So strength for criticals. We haven't got to that point yet, though. But, uh, we could decrease this one potentially, and then what can we get from that? Fell bats. We're not really building fell bats at the moment. Vargas, this would be good for melee defense. 
Uh, this will help with die wolves, so we have got them as well. With this increased Vargolf and Vargais upkeep. Let's go towards this route. We'll probably just do the first one, anyways. Um, no! So we've got 18 stack in here. Let's see if we can actually assassinate them. Success! Camellia Richelos, our banshee, successfully wounded Frederick von Karstein, belonging to Tempelhof, and escaped. Not escaped in assassination. So, what? let's quickly save again. And let's finally take these off them. Darkness comes. See how we're going to get on. What is oh, okay. We should be able to do this battle as well. I think. Let's see how we're going to get on with this one. I think I might do this within the next part. So. I'm going to quickly check how long this is going to be. If not, we'll, I'll do this battle. Because it may take a little while to finish this one off. If not, we'll do this in part three. I'm just going to double check. It won't be a second. Okay, guys. I am going to be finishing this episode here. I hope you enjoyed the second part for the Vampire Counts campaign. And also, obviously, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Give the video a like. It always helps me out. And then, obviously, leave any comments in the section down below so we're going to ready ourselves for part three with this battle against steinberg von Diel, and we're going to be trying to take the settlement of eschen from the castle tempelhof uh, vampire counts so if we if we defeat him here well they should in theory only have one army set they're going to build up in castle tempelhof and obviously i should try and take that out afterwards i'll probably have to build up some more units before we do that because they will have a lot of uh, units inside the settlement there which they've already got grave cards and stuff like that so i'll probably have to build a second army stack for that but in the meanwhile i'll be trying to take their other settlements depleting their money and obviously trying to gain more money for myself so i can get a second army stack and also just remember they've got this <laughs> this lot as well it's not just his first army so overall we should be alright with it and hopefully be able to take them out and i'll see you guys all in part three